Is taking a vacation worth getting into debt for? Well, let's break it down. First off, you need to take a good look at the kind of debt you're dealing with. If it's the usual suspects like student loans, a car payment, or your mortgage, and you're keeping up with those payments without drowning, then, by all means, pack your bags and go on that vacation. Life's too short, right? But if you find yourself barely making ends meet, living from one paycheck to the next, and watching those credit card bills climb higher each month, it might be time to reconsider. Taking on additional debt for a vacation when you're already struggling financially is like pouring gasoline on a fire. Sure, the getaway might provide a temporary escape, but the financial consequences could smolder for a long time. Let's be real here. If your financial situation resembles a leaky boat, plugging the holes should be the priority, not planning a beach escape. Consider this, would you enjoy that umbrella drink on the beach as much if you knew it came with a side of mounting debt and stress? Probably not. Taking a step back, it's crucial to understand that not all debts are created equal. Responsible debts with reasonable interest rates and clear payback terms can be a part of a healthy financial plan. It's the uncontrollable, high-interest debts that can quickly spiral out of control, turning a vacation into a costly escapade that lingers long after you've returned. Let's put it this way. A vacation is meant to be a refreshing break, not a financial burden. If you're contemplating swiping your credit card for that dream vacation but you're already juggling multiple financial responsibilities, it might be time to reassess your priorities. Ask yourself, is the temporary thrill of a vacation worth the potential long-term consequences on your financial well-being? Consider this scenario. You come back from a fabulous trip, relaxed and recharged, only to face a mountain of bills and a strained budget. The memories of the vacation might be sweet, but the stress that follows could be overwhelming. It's like enjoying a gourmet meal but forgetting about the indigestion that comes afterward. Let's get practical. If your current financial situation resembles a tightrope walk without a safety net, taking on more debt for a vacation is a risky balancing act. Instead of jetting off to a distant paradise, focus on creating a stable financial foundation. Consider picking up a side hustle, cutting unnecessary expenses, or creating a realistic budget to tackle your existing debts before adding more to the pile. Think of your financial health as a garden. If you plant seeds of debt without tending to the soil first, you're setting yourself up for a garden overrun with weeds. Take the time to nurture your financial stability, and when the time is right, you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, which might include a debt-free vacation. Let's address the FOMO, fear of missing out, factor. We live in a world where social media bombards us with images of exotic vacations, luxury resorts, and globetrotting adventures. It's easy to feel the pressure to keep up with the virtual Joneses. However, it's essential to remember that social media often portrays a curated version of reality. Behind those envy-inducing photos could be financial struggles and sacrifices that aren't shared online. In the grand scheme of things, a vacation is just one slice of the pie that is your life. It's crucial to weigh the short-term pleasures against the long-term consequences. Sure, a vacation can provide unforgettable experiences, but financial stability contributes significantly to your overall well-being. It's about finding a balance that allows you to enjoy life without compromising your future.